On August 21st, the entire U.S., including Hawaii and Alaska, will be able to see at least a partial eclipse. People located along one 70-mile wide streak in particular will be able to see a total solar eclipse, or the moment when the moon crosses between the Earth and the sun, completely blocking out the sun's light. For those hoping to see the eclipse, the appearance will vary based on where you are. To help determine what that view will look like ahead of time, a team from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory built a simulation that maps out what the eclipse looks like during the window it's over the U.S. A word of warning if you were to plan to catch the solar eclipse on August 21st, don't look directly at the sun. There are solar filters designed to let you see the eclipse in a way that will keep your eyes from getting damaged. Here's what the eclipse will look like in some of the major cities across the U.S. San Francisco will get this view of the eclipse at about 10.11 a.m. P.T. NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory Those in Los Angeles will get to see a partial eclipse at 10.18 a.m. P.T. NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory Phoenix will get to see a partial eclipse at about 11.24 a.m. Mount NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory Denver, which is just south of the eclipse's trajectory, will get this view at about 11.45 a.m. Mount NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory at NASA application runs you through the views of the eclipse during the three hours in which it will be seen from the U.S. Here's the trajectory for Portland, Oregon. NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory You can also put in your exact city a zip code. I tested it out with my hometown near Chicago. NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory Residents of Houston will get to see this view at about 1.06 p.m. Court. NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory Shortly before then, residents of San Antonio, Texas, will get to see a partial eclipse at about 1.259 p.m. Court. NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory Kansas City, Kansas, will get to see a total eclipse at about 1.08 p.m. Court. NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory Chicagoans will get a glimpse this partial eclipse at 1.26 p.m. Court. NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory Nashville, Tennessee will also get to see a full eclipse. That'll happen at about 2.30 p.m. E.T. NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory Columbus, Ohio, will get pretty close to a total eclipse at about 2.34 p.m. E.T. NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory Charleston, South Carolina, will get to see a total eclipse at about 2.47 p.m. E.T. NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory New York City will get to see a partial eclipse that looks like this at about 2.48 p.m. E.T. NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory Washington, D.C., which is a little closer to the full eclipse trajectory, will get this view at about the same time, 2.50 p.m. E.T. NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory Miami is still a bit farther south of the trajectory, but it will still get this view of a partial eclipse at about 2.50 p.m. E.T. NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory Philadelphia will get a good view of a partial eclipse starting about 1.30 p.m. E.T. Getting this view at about 3 p.m. NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory Boston, which is pretty far north of the eclipse's trajectory, will see a partial eclipse that looks like this at about 3 p.m. E.T. NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory You can play around with the eclipse simulator more here.